Hello guys, welcome to a little different vlog from me. So I thought I would give you a bit of an intro because I know that the clips that I filmed on the hike, etc., are a bit sporadic. I was with a group of friends. It was really, really nice. I hadn't seen them all in a couple of months. So it's very much a sporadically filmed vlog. However, I wanted to give you a bit of explanation about what to expect if you hiked Snowden, what we packed, the route we did, all that kind of information at the end. So if you want to hear all of that kind of nitty gritty stuff, then hold fire till the end of the video. But I honestly just really love doing this. It's something I've wanted to do for a really long time and definitely out of my comfort zone. I'm, I love a hike. I wouldn't say I'm good at a hike or anything like that. Um, but it was a really fun experience and I did it with a group of friends. So I just thought I'd give you a little mini vlog of something a bit different and give you a bit of an explanation into what Snowden's like. So if you are looking to hike it or you maybe want to see something different, then this video is for you. Valentina forgot shoes and we've ended up with um, Just a few. lots of stuff. Maybe a whole new outfit. Love this for us. Yeah, I love it for us. <laughs> and the boots are already full, just to add. <laughs> I also bought blisters. Oh, I also have some. <laughs> this is absolutely hilarious. Look what we've booked. This is our accommodation. I'll share the Airbnb if you're interested. But there's eight little beds all in one room. How cute. Good morning, team. Um, I am somewhere a little bit different today. We are about to go and do a group hike of Snowden. So everyone's kind of gathered around in the car park. Um, there's six of us hiking. We are all gathered here today to celebrate the hiking of Snowden. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're about to go hike Snowden. This is a very last minute decision. So we stayed in the little hostel that you saw last night, which was like the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, but I'll leave a link because it was only like 30 pounds each, so it was really cheap. It's about 45 minutes away from the car park we're in, which is the castle thing. I'll leave all the information down in the bottom because I can't remember names of things. But, um, yeah it was quite far out but it was really cheap compared to the like accommodation around here and it was basically the same kind of like quality of accommodation so we booked it um but it was really nice but we're about to head off on our little hikey hike i'm very excited although my hip is hurting so we'll see how that goes about an hour in and my hip is already playing up but we're keeping going we've done quite well to be fair the girls are all here um i don't even know we're not even on snowden apparently we're on another one you have to get through another couple to get to snowden so we're just powering through and keep stripping off and putting on layers depending on how hot cold we are but it's very pretty We thought we were about three hours from the top. Turns out, apparently, we're an hour away, but we don't know if that was a lie just to make us feel better. So um, we're doing well, we're making good time. The girls are just back here. We're just waiting for them and having a little snack. We made it to the top. <laughs> <laughs> the way you do it is so unimpressed. Um, the others are on their way. We kind of all separated at some point. And um, we made it up to the top in, I think it was three hours 30, but that was including like getting from the car park to the toilets, going to the toilets and then coming and starting. So I actually think we probably did it in about three hours. Um, so we're gonna have a little look into it. 
and work out like when we actually started but um about three hours it's i wouldn't say it's a hard hike we did like the easiest route i can't remember what the name of it is but i'll leave it no it wasn't like impossible like we struggled a bit it wasn't like it was good we made it we made it to the top we're here if you do a lot of exercise or you do some exercise you'll absolutely be fine if it's like your first hike maybe it's hard it'll probably be hard <laughs> once you're up here really but well, yeah yeah if you do a bit of exercise you're all good you're all good all yeah. good but um we did say like we were all struggling at certain points had to keep stopping like the last bit is quite a hard bit um but we're at the top and Yay, we're gonna get the train back down because of course Jenny's um, been buying the merch. She's gone for a it's theme today, including a red pen. <laughs> <laughs> Abby has bought some dragon whoopsies. <laughs> it's giving tourist. <laughs> Hello guys, I have just got back from hiking Snowdon. I say just got back. I got back last night at about midnight, so I thought I would give you an update today and just share with you a little bit of information about how I found it, what I expected, what happened, etc. So I have always wanted to hike Snowdon and I know that it's one of those things where there's a million different trails for different levels and things like that. When we were up there, we actually spotted like five or six different trails. So there's quite a few that you can do, but we did what is considered like the easy route and it's not too long. It takes approximately, depending how fast you go, obviously this is on like my experience. So the average of our group, it took about three hours to get up and about three hours to get down, although, different fitness levels and all that kind of thing obviously play into it as well if you stop quite a lot if you don't we saw people running up we saw people on e-bikes like it's just kind of a free-for-all like anyone and anyone can kind of do this trail um i have to admit we did see young children so if that helps to sway whether you think this would be easy for you or not then obviously hopefully that helps but the mountain is about 1000 meters so it's not the biggest mountain in the world and it's not the smallest like it's still it's still a hike and i think you still need some kind of fitness level to be able to do it without struggling although i do think that literally anyone could do it even if you've never hiked in your life you could still do it and i think it might just maybe take a bit longer but you'd still be able to do it so as i say we did the easy trail it took us about three hours to get to the top and when you get to the top of snowdon there is like a cafe up there and a train and stuff and you can go all the way up to like the summit point and get pictures and stuff it's actually really beautiful and i highly recommend taking lunch with you so we did a morning hike it was perfect so we started after the sun came up we hiked all the way up and then we stopped at about 12 o'clock for lunch which was perfect timing and pretty much everyone else is doing the same thing i would advise packing a lot of water and snacks and stuff there's a toilet at the top if you wanted to stop there although obviously on the way up there isn't anything there is like a little mini halfway shop but it's kind of like a hole in the wall kiosk where you can just buy like snacks and water and stuff so it's not necessarily like a cafe but you can buy snacks and things there we were told that you could get the train from like different points to the top you can't you can only get the train from the very bottom or the very top but i would recommend booking in advance if you think you're going to need it because we actually got to the top and a few of us were kind of struggling with like joint pains or whatever and we tried to inquire about getting the train and he said it would be about five hours to maybe get us on the train because it was fully booked for the day we went on a weekend so obviously bear that in mind as well but i would say if you are planning on getting the train back down or you think that you're going to get the train up and then back down then i would highly 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 recommend booking because it is something that books up quickly and it's a very very small train that i think probably takes about half an hour to get up and then half an hour to get back down so it isn't like a quick train or anything it's very much like a slow and steady up through the mountain and it's just it's very 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 small i don't know how many people it fits but it definitely did not fit many like it was a really small little train um but it was a really nice way to get up if you maybe needed the help or the assistance or you just wanted a quick trip although i do really recommend hiking um shoe wise we all wore hiking boots or hiking trainers and i think that's really recommended because as much as you could do the hike in trainers i would recommend having grip because parts of the hike are kind of loose stone or like they're just not the most like sturdy of path if that makes sense like some of it is like big stones but they're not very grippy like they're quite smooth and some of it is literally just like there's one part that's quite steep and you could quite easily come back down and like slip a bit if you weren't wearing grippy shoes i have some hiking boots which i'll leave linked in the description box down below um and they were perfect they cost me i think like 50 pounds a couple of years ago all the other girls had theirs from various different places as well and they were really good um clothing wise so we did it in october and i think it was between 12 and 16 degrees when we did it i will say at the top was considerably colder um, and when we started obviously first thing in the morning was quite chilly too but on the way up we wore 
between us i think we all kind of had like one or two layers and then a fleece and then a waterproof so no one had like a big coat or anything um, most of us wore beanie hats and it just it was nice to have the layers and we found that we were kind of taking off and putting on layers quite a lot so i had a sports bra gym vest and then a long sleeve top and a fleece and then i also had my waterproof i started the hike wearing everything quickly took off the waterproof then the fleece came off and then i kind of was splitting between wearing the fleece and not and the coat only really went on at the top other than that i didn't really wear it Obviously we took the waterproofs just in case it was really cloudy or really rainy or anything. Um, so I would recommend having one, but I definitely think beanies are really great and gloves if you've got them. Um, but to be honest, it wasn't that cold. It was a really beautiful day when we went. I've heard it can get quite foggy and stuff, but it was just really nice. And it was good to be out somewhere locally-ish. I said, Not really locally, but like it's still a UK mountain. Um, accommodation wise we actually didn't stay in snowdonia like national park we stayed just outside so we stayed in lundudno which is a gorgeous little town there's a really nice pizza place there called johnny's and um that was considerably cheaper for accommodation we did stay in a hostel called the lundudno hostel again i'll leave it down below um we just booked like an eight bed dorm because we thought you know what we're literally going to hike snowdon it was about 30 pounds each and it was just it was one of those things where we just didn't really care about having like a fancy place to stay um, and we also didn't mind having the slight drive in the morning because from Lundudno there's actually a Starbucks drive through on the route as well so you can get a coffee and stuff on the way but it was about 45 to an hour and it just it made sense because then we were in the area so we got like the majority of the drive out of the way but then we could kind of just get that last little bit out of the way spend a bit less money like it just wasn't too bad um, and like I said in total I think we started our hike somewhere between seven and eight i want to say it was like 7 45 or something we actually started the trail and then we got back down at 4 30 so kind of a full day but we did stop at the top for two and a half hours to like enjoy our lunch and to chat and like we went staggered when we were going up so like some people finished sooner etc um but yeah all in all really fun experience i highly recommend doing it if you are on the thought process of doing something like that it's really really fun um but yeah I just thought I'd give you a bit of a summary because I know the vlog was very quick. I planned to vlog a lot more on the way up. However, it was very, very, very windy. So you couldn't hear anything I was saying. But hopefully you like this vlog. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe, hit the notification bell for more from me. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.